Hello and welcome back. This is Arun Patwardhan and today I will be talking about a collection of small unrelated topics within shell scripting. We will be looking at four different topics. How to use functions in a shell script. What are environment variables. Redirection. And how to create year documents. Let us begin with functions. Often times you will find that there are some operations that you perform repeatedly across different points in the script. It would be extremely useful to write this logic once and reuse it over and over in a quick and efficient manner. Functions allow us to do just that. They are reusable snippets of code that can be written once but invoked from anywhere within the script. This makes the script compact and efficient. Let us look at some ways in which we can write functions. A function typically contains a name along with parentheses. The tasks performed by the function are in curly brackets. This is how our function looks. We have the name of the function, the parenthesis, opening curly bracket, function body, closing curly bracket. And finally, we call the function by its name. You will sometimes find the keyword function before the function name. This is not required, but a good thing to put so that it draws attention to the fact that this is a function. We can have variables local to a function too. This means that the variable can be used inside the function only. We declare it with the keyword local followed by the variable name and use the variable inside the function just like any other variable. We can also pass values to a function. The arguments that are passed in are used using the argument parameters $1, $2, $3 and so on. When calling the function, we simply pass the value to the function. There are several different argument parameters that we can use in place of $1 and $2. All of them start with the dollar prefix followed by a different symbol for different actions. For example, dollar hash tells you the number of arguments that are there being passed to the function. Functions can return a value too. There are a couple of ways of doing this. One way is to simply echo the value out and potentially maybe store it in a variable. The other is to use the return keyword along with the value that is to be returned. Another useful feature is that of environment variables. These are variables that hold values that are often needed in a script. We do not need to declare them separately. To get a list of environment variables, simply run the print env command. To print the value for a specific variable, use the print env command followed by the name of the variable. Use the variable with the dollar symbol before it 
just like any other variable in order to get the value stored in the environment variable. Next, we will look at redirection. We have already covered redire redirection earlier. But here is a quick summary. We use the single right arrow to write the output of a command to a file, a double right arrow to append the output of a command to a file, and a pipe to pass the output of one command to another command. Using the above redirections, there are some interesting actions that we can perform, such as completely disregarding the output of a command, showing both standard out and standard error on standard out, or showing both standard out and standard error on standard error. One of the things that we can use redirection for is in a year document. A year document is used when we want to send multiple lines of input to a command. It requires an opening and closing flag to tell the command where the document ends. This could be anything as long as both the opening and closing flags have the same name. EOF is a common opening and closing flag name. This is how a year document looks. It starts with a command, followed by the left double arrow, the opening flag, then we have the messages to be sent to the command, followed by the closing flag. This is a common example for, of a year document. We would like to write a few lines of text to a file using the cat command. We write the command based on the structure we saw earlier and end it with a double right arrow to append to a file. Another popular use case is when we want to send multiple Apple script statements to the OSA script command. So for example, we have a display dialog statement along with a text returned of statement, both being sent to the OSA script command. Now, let us see how we can use some or all of these features in our folder creator script. So here is our code. Let us start off by changing the date to today's date. Let us update the version number to 1.6 and make that change in other places too. We will also add some information about the version change um, as to what we are making or updating. Update the version number. update the version number for the log file and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a function that will be writing the log message out here so instead of calling writing to the log file every time we'll leverage a function so let's write a function that will write to a log file and for that we will take advantage of the here document So we'll use the cat command to write to the log file along with the log message. And we are passing the message to the function itself. Now all we have to do is go to every echo statement that we have that is writing to the log file and instead use this record activity function in its place. To do that, I will get rid of the echo bit and replace it with record activity. and just leave the message in its place. Let's update the next message. And 
And what I also need to do is, of course, put the message within double quotes itself so that it's treated as one single message. And in fact, what I should be doing is repeating this process for all the messages. Let me just go ahead and actually correct the record activity messages I wrote earlier so that the message string itself is within quotes. And I actually do this entire process for all the remaining echo statements that are there out there. So I just replace it with the record activity function call and pass in that message. And that's it. That's the only change I had to make. Now the big advantage with this approach of course is that if tomorrow I decide to change the format of the message to the log function or to the log file, this is the only place I have to make a change in. When I make the change here, it will be reflected in all the other statements out there. This also makes it very readable. For example, if you read the statement record activity starting, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to understand. Or for example, record activity, the user decided to provide a custom name. It's making the script readable, compact, and easier to understand. And those are the changes that we've made to our script. Also note the use of the environment variable home to get the path to the home folder. So we're using that to not have to hard code the home folder path everywhere. We looked at many different features in this video. We learned how to write functions and create reusable code to make our scripts compact how to access different values using environment variables, redirection, and finally, how to create your documents using re redirection. Thank you.